Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to uh, manipulate images uh, like a continuation of the last tutorial. And what I did was I downloaded this uh, SVG uh, image file from, from the internet. I just wanted to, something with circles. I found these planets uh, in, in, in a descending order. And what I'm, I did was I used this, this um, I use Inkscape. If you don't have it, you might have it already. I don't know if it comes with Linux Ubuntu. If not, you can always download it through the sudo app get Inkscape. And it, it allows you um, to, to not only uh, convert a file, but also you can reduce the, the heights uh, and the width. And that's what I did here. I didn't want to work with color space, uh, so what I did, I, I I changed it into a PNG and also into a grayscale and just with these commands okay and once I did that um, I, I reduced the size and now we don't need this one anymore I just wanted to show you so you can so you know what I started with okay so so let's start it the, uh, let's start the first thing we're gonna do is open a Let me open uh, an SSH into our Raspberry Pi, like we always do. And SSH X Pi two one six eight one three three and is three three the password. going to open active and while that is loading I'm going to open the second terminal so I, I have more uh, freedom to look at files and there we go so the first thing we're going to do um, this is a, a, a little simple um, file program snippet they're doing loops and I'm gonna explain as we as we go the first thing we're going to do we're going to read the image and decode it as you can see the image is right here and if we go to is this one right here this is the SVG file, the original that I started with, and uh, w the one that I converted. This is the one that I'm that I'm reading here, as you can see. Okay. And then the second one, I'm, I'm now I'm gonna show you from the Raspberry Pi what it looks like after it's been read, and it's the same commands from MATLAB. If you uh, intro and I'm show, I'm show. Some people say I'm show. Some people say I, I am show. And opening, and there they are. Okay, it's a little bit. Uh, it's the same, a little bit different. And what is I'm going to do? I'm going to pick the centers right here of each one of the center of the coordinates okay the x and the y the y and z and then u and the v i'm gonna try to make them in, in the center of each one of the circles so to give you an idea how how it works so let's pick the first point you will notice as i as i um, enter these commands the command you, you'll see it at the command prompt as you can see it's waiting for me to do the input, the mouse click, okay? So you'll see, as soon as I click, you'll see how it moves here. So I'll go to center here, click, and you see now it's asking me for the second one, click, and now it's asking me for the third one and last one, click, and you, you saw how it moved. Now I'm done with this, I can put it away. Now I'm going to print the coordinates of where exactly I click the mouse and as you can see it's telling me the mouse was clicked at uh, 
76, 79, it was also click at 204, 114, and it was also click at 287 and 123. Okay, now I'm going to give it the dimensions of the circles that I am creating for each one of the circles. Okay, it's done. And now I'm telling the here. I'm telling it to shade the circle around that point that we just picked and we're doing it here that's what this one is doing and there it goes and now these are the loops to do the shading around the circle as you can see it's the X and the Y and it's getting them from here from the X from the X and the Y that we picked here okay from here okay so let's do the first one. This one I gotta do it indiv individually. This might throw me an error. I don't wanna take the chance, so I don't wanna have to do it all over again. So I'm just gonna do it the long way. You can also do a script, and uh, but I wanted to do it individually just to give you an idea of what's going on. And also, instead of doing three loops like I just did, you can also integrate them into one loop. I didn't want to do that because you, you might get lost of where one loop starts and one ends. So I did it the long way so you can see. And now this is the end of the first loop. Then we do the second one. Zero two fifty five. This is where that two fifty five comes from. Is the max. And let me end the four loops and 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 it's done. Now the third third and last one. T copy paste enter copy and paste enter. them and 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 now put them all in one figure intro I and then just show it to me and let's see if it worked it should be picking three circles and three shading three circles inside of it and there they are and as you can see it it we click right there and it click uh, according to these dimensions that we that we pick one is 25 let me just show you here it's this one this one is 25 this one 25 this one is smaller 15 and it's 15 and this one is 5 and this one is 5 okay and you can uh, later on we'll, we'll do other uh, image manipulations using um, uh, derivation of this uh, function and uh, but uh, this is the end of the tutorial and like I always say if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time Thanks for watching.